The Norwegian Forge Horse. The horse of the Vikings is much more than a cute face. They can also do it all. Historians believe that the ancestors of today's Norwegian forge horses first appeared in Norway during the Ice Age. These horses were domesticated about 4,000 years ago and went on to become the horse of the Vikings. Archaeological excavations at Viking burial sites show that forge horses were often buried alongside Vikings in high status. Over the centuries that followed, the forge horse was used in Norway mostly as a draft horse, working the fields and cleaning the countrysides of timber to make room for farms and villages. The forge horse was also used as a saddle and pack horse and was known for its hard-working temperament. In the middle of the 19th century, an, organ an organized breeding program established for the forge in Norway. Coming to America. In the 1950s, Americans discovered the beauty and durability of the Norwegian forge and imported 22 quality forges into the country. American aficionados of this tough little horse began breeding them in, and in the 1978, the Norwegian horses registered. NFHR was formed in the States. The organization's goal was to register the forge horses and preserve its prutiny and organiz or original type in America. Today, around 6,900 Norwegian horses are registered in the United States with the NFHR. The breed is growing in popularity not only in the U.S. but also around the globe. Forge horse registries can be found throughout the world and right now around 6,000 forge horses live in breeds of the live in breeds of native country. Today's forge horse. Norwegian forge horses have a unique look that hardens back into the prehistoric ancestry. In addition to their willing temperament, their appearance is their most well-known characteristic. Early 90% of Frisian horses are brown dun in color, with the other 10% being a red dun, gray dun, white dun, or a very rare yellow dun. The forged wild dun color comes from a primitive marking like a zebra stripe on the leg and a dorsal stripe that runs from the forelock down the neck and a dark stripe over the withers. For Norwegian forge horses also have a unique mane. The center hair of the mane is dark, usually black, while the outer hair is white. Mainly forge owners cut the mane short so it will stand out and trim in the characteristic accrete shape to emphasize the grateful curve of the horse's neck. The white outer hair is then trimmed slightly shorter than the darker inner hair and is displayed the dramatic dark stripe. Norwegian Fords do more than just look good. They are hardy mounts and easy keepers and can work for hours on end in properly conditioned. Forges are currently excelling in many disciplines, including western riding, cattle work, jumping, eventing, dressage, combined riding, and vaulting. Forges are popular as a trail mount and are used in competitive trail riding. Although they are small, they are a good choice for riders of all ages. Fast facts of the forge horse. Height, 13.1 hands to 14.3 hands. Color, brown done, white done, gray done, red done, and yellow done. Overall appearance, head is medium sized and well defined with broad flat forehead and a straight or slight dished face. The eyes are large, ears are small and alert. The neck is well muscled and crested. The body is short and coupled in a good depth, large heart girth and a well developed muscles. The legs are powerful with a sustainable bone. Honestly, I really find the Forge Horses very cool. And this came out of the Horse Illustrated magazine. You should definitely go check them out.